Our story begins in Africa, millions of years ago. This is where we meet Australopithecus. These were our early ancestors. They walked upright on two legs, just like us. This was a major step in human evolution. Australopithecus still had many ape-like features. Their brains were small, about the size of a chimpanzee's. They had long arms and a pronounced brow ridge. Their faces sloped forward and their jaws protruded. Despite their ape-like appearance, Australopithecus were adapting to life on the ground. They lived in grasslands and forests, foraging for food. Their ability to walk upright gave them an advantage in these environments. Around 2.4 million years ago, a new human ancestor appeared. Homo habilis, this species earned the nickname Handyman for a very good reason. They were the first to make and use stone tools. These tools were simple, but they represented a major leap forward. Homo habilis was still quite small and had a smaller brain than modern humans. However, their brains were larger than those of Australopithecus. This increase in brain size allowed for greater intelligence and the development of tool-making skills. With their tools, Homo habilis could access new food sources. They could butcher meat and crack open bones. This access to protein likely fueled further brain development. About 1.9 million years ago, a new species emerged. Homo erectus. This species was a game changer. Homo erectus had a larger brain, a more human-like body, and a remarkable ability to adapt to different environments. They were the first human ancestors to migrate out of Africa. Homo erectus spread across Asia and Europe, taking their tools and culture with them. They learned to control fire, which provided warmth, protection, and a way to cook food. The ability to control fire was a major turning point in human evolution. It allowed Homo erectus to thrive in colder climates and expand their range across the globe. Section 4, Neanderthals, our close cousins. As Homo erectus spread across the globe, they evolved into different populations. One of these populations gave rise to the Neanderthals, Homo neanderthalensis. Neanderthals lived in Europe and parts of Asia, adapting to cold climates. They were stockier and more muscular than modern humans. They had large brains, even larger than ours. Neanderthals were skilled tool makers and hunters. They lived in social groups and cared for their sick and injured. Neanderthals and modern humans coexisted for a time. We even interbred with them. Today, most people of European and Asian descent carry a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA. Section 5. Modern Humans Homo sapiens. Our own species, Homo sapiens, first appeared around 300,000 years ago in Africa. We had a number of advantages over other human species. We had larger brains, which allowed for complex thought, language, and problem solving. We were also adaptable and creative. We developed sophisticated tools, art, and culture. We learned to cooperate in large numbers, which allowed us to outcompete other human species. Over time, Homo sapiens became the dominant human species on Earth. Today, Homo sapiens is the only surviving human species. We have populated every corner of the globe. Our journey from those early ape-like ancestors is a testament to the power of evolution and the resilience of our species. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to Always Mabel Canada. See you on our next video.